Hey guys, I'm going to take you along on a call that I didn't speak much in because I was planning on voicing over. But um, it was a loud noise and not heating. And something happened to me in this call that's only happened to me twice before the whole time I've been doing air conditioning. And um, it's something that shouldn't happen. So stay tuned. Here it comes. I think so. Let me. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm about to find out. Yeah, sir. Um, I'm not sure your blower was working, but I, there's no way I should have had power to ground like that. is grounded <clears throat> right now I'm opening this up because I'm looking for the heat strip wires run really close to the panel that I'm taking off and I'm wanting to Look in there and see if they're touching anything.
Needs a new blower motor. All this insulation needs to be pinned up. I need to check that compressor, figure out why this thing is was shocking me. What's that now? Oh yeah, you gotta kill the power to do it though. Let me just check right here real quick. I think it's cool weather. Um, I wish it would go away. Oh man, don't say that. Don't say that. I'm ready for the heat. I'm still looking for electrical wires that may be touching something. There's a lot here to repair, but um, I was asked just to repair the problem when I brought some of this stuff up, just repair whatever's wrong, but we eventually find it, but that's what I'm looking for, are shorts to ground. I know this motor is faulty, so I unplugged the wires to it, and I'm gonna check for that short to ground again. And as you can see here, there's no more short to ground. I did have to go pick up a motor for this. This was a three quarter horsepower, 5.8 amps. The OEM motor, my cost was almost $350. So I went to my supply house and I got one that was three quarter horsepower, 5.5 amps. And I've done this just to see that I checked the amps and make sure that it works correctly.
on. And as you see here, this is a 5.8 amp motor, three quarter horsepower. And um, the motor that I bought, I'm gonna walk around here and show you. It is a 5.5 amp. So it was a little bit of a risk buying this, but it worked out. Right here I'm reading on this label and it says counterclockwise rotation requires the hookup that I have so I didn't have to change anything.
I had forgotten that I had the capacitor stuffed in the motor when I carried it over there. I've got my capacitor hooked up. Uh, I just need to get some spade connectors and hook all this up together. I did check the amp draw on this. Apparently it looks like I didn't record it, but the amp draw on that blower motor was 4.75 amps. So um, we're well within range. I don't know if you have noticed, but that was a 20 year old air conditioner and just about everything on it now has been replaced. Evaporator coil, condenser fan motor, compressor, and now the blower motor. They keep going, they're gonna have a new air conditioner. Some of that work looked, uh, I have actually been to that one before and I don't do a lot of home warranty work. I advise them of what state it's in and what I would like to do to, and they just want me to fix the problem. And this is the one home warranty that actually pays their bills. <laughs> So um, I keep doing work for them. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.